Do you have examples? I mean, do you have video or, or have incidents where officers have de-escalated? Uh, we've done some stories over the years that show officers who've been trained in uh, not shooting. And is that something that you're referring to here in the incidents where you encounter people and violence doesn't happen? Well, I think it's more, listen, when an officer, you know, has to use deadly force, obviously there's a lot of uh, decisions that they have, they have to make, whether their own personal decisions and policy decisions and things of that nature. But absolutely, there's example after example of de-escalation. And you know what, as police chiefs, we need to do better. We need to do a better job of being able to, myself included, all of us need to do a better job of highlighting those incidents when, when we have de-escalated situations, when we have used uh you know uh techniques that we've been taught where we have used distance where we have used a plan where we have used uh less lethal uh you know incidents where supervisors have been on scene and been able to give direction we do need to do more a better job of giving those examples because i will tell you they happen every day every day at every police department de-escalation is occurring and you're not seeing those incidents happen uh granted that's not saying we're perfect uh we're gonna make mistakes there's no question about it uh, we have to hold ourselves accountable. We always have to think when when we're wrong, we're wrong, and we have to hold ourselves accountable. But when our men and women are right, uh, we have to we have to be loud about that as well. Uh, and we can't let we can't let that narrative uh, run away with the fact that we all know the majority of our men and women are honorable, uh, and they're doing a tremendous job under a lot of stress. Uh, but that doesn't mean we can't get better. And we're constantly looking at ways to get better, whether through technology. Uh, whether through de-escalation tactics, uh, whether through more su better supervision. Uh, and so we're all working on that and th that'll never end. Uh, you know, in 31 years I've been here, I know it was here when I started in the early 90s and it'll be here long after I leave. Uh, that it's, there's, this is, uh, this game will never end. Uh, we're always, the goalposts will always be moving. And we as chiefs and as police departments need to rise to that level of expectation. And so that's something that we continue to work together. I know my major chiefs do that. Uh, we do it together and collectively, uh, and those are things that we need to continue to work on.